Yeah. yeah. This one in particular, the berries get huge. <laughs> I mean, you could really sit there and like have a meal. They're delicious. Nice. So, Mike, tell us about your choice of running shoes. Running shoes as well. It's a pretty big conversation to talk about running shoes in a... In two minutes. <laughs> in two minutes, well, I'll make it real simple. The, a lot of people are, think that they got to take vitamins and they got to eat all kinds of different foods. And they think that way because that's what they're marketed to. That's what they're taught. That's what the uh, advertising tells you. The same thing happens with food, with uh, shoes. You know, you got minimalist shoes. You got stability shoes, pronator shoes. You got... Well, every kind of shoe out there and a lot of people are really obsessed about it because they're told that it's important now until you are about five percent body fat as a male or under ten percent as a female the weight of your shoes really don't matter and what you got to focus on is losing weight and uh, just running more a lot of people focus on what type of workout they're gonna do you know what if you're splitting hairs get out there and do something so my advice on shoes is don't think about them too much. Just put on a pair of shoes. The guys who were some of the best runners in the 1920s, 30s, 40s, they were running in nothing. They were barefoot or in little shoes they made out of wood and leather. So, hey, listen, I run in low in low weight shoes because I got low body fat. There's physics involved in running. Any moving part needs less energy if it weighs less. So that includes your legs got big muscular legs you're not gonna be a very good long distance runner you better stop doing the squats so you know I'm all over the place but when it comes to shoes I wouldn't think about it too much well one tip that I think uh, is kind of interesting people want to save money is men's shoes and women's shoes are the same it's not like underwear so uh, I buy women's shoes I buy a size 10 yeah because uh uh, it's a ten and a half, because that's size nine men's. And size ten, ten and a half women's are always on sale, because there's not a lot of women with big feet like that. It costs about half the price in the same damn shoe. <laughs> Just don't buy the pink ones. <laughs> nice. So what, what about the, the Vibe and Five Fingers, you know, like for running on the, on the tarmac? Yeah, I mean, I think the Five Fingers are good. I think they take a long time to put on. It's a little bit annoying for me. I, I tried them. I think they're good. People like them. Um, you know, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with them, but for me, I like something with a little bit more cushion. Yeah. And uh, it's something that takes, goes on and off pretty easy. Because maybe in the 20s, they didn't have tarmac roads like they do today. Yeah, I mean, if you're running on asphalt, you got to run with some kind of cushioning. cushioning. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks, Mark.